I'm sure you've heard it too. Some fool will be on television or something and say, these are incredible times in which we live. It's a cliche. And then uh, something happens, like, like, like to me the last couple of days. I got out and about, and I step back and I think, well, you know what, for gay people, these are incredible times in which we live. Welcome back to Rob's Feet Today. This is episode number 117, and I'm Rob Shendel. Maybe you're a college student living in a dorm. Maybe you just live in a small studio apartment. What you need to do is get over to dormco.com slash rob. Once you're there, you'll find all kinds of items specifically designed for folks living in small spaces. That's dormco.com slash rob. If you don't know him, I'd like to introduce you to someone. His name is Mike Jin. And he's mayor of Redondo Beach, California. And now he is running for a vacant congressional seat. And I think it's the 36th district. Let me read something from his platform. And it says, in their platform, it says, you can count on me to be an advocate for green energy solutions, lead efforts to stop illegal immigration by protecting our borders, fight for legislation to increase oversight on insurance companies, banks, and Wall Street, Support education at all levels to secure our children's future and keep America competitive. Please join me in putting country above politics and restoring faith in the American dream for all of us. Now also on his page, it says, if I can find it real quick here, Mike is married to his husband of 16 years, Christopher Crydell. They were married at the Redondo Beach Historic Morrell House in 2008 and currently reside in Redondo Beach. In his spare time, Mike enjoys traveling, snow skiing, working out, and playing the piano. How wonderful. Another gay man seeking a congressional office. But you know what I didn't read to you? Was one line here in his platform. I am a pro-choice. Well, that's great. He's pro-choice, too. He sounds like the kind of guy I would vote for. I'm a pro-choice, independent Republican. Wow. A gay Republican with a platform like that. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. But what the hell? A gay Republican. Why? That's like... That's like a chicken voting for Colonel Sanders. But it shouldn't be. Why shouldn't there be gay people in the Republican Party seeking office? For some reason, he's a Republican. Although his platform doesn't sound very Republican to me, but he's a Republican. We've come a long way, though, when the his gayness has nothing to do with his politics. He's gay and he's a Republican. Wow. So here's a Republican who's married to a man. So you know he's going to be on the right side of the marriage equality issue. And perhaps if he's elected to Congress and caucuses with Republicans, he can he can plead the case. He can maybe knock some sense into the rest of the caucus. Good luck, Mr. Chin. So the last couple of days here in Chicago have been beautiful. It's, not, it's already something, I'm not sure, in the 70s, and it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I have 73 according to the temperature on here. And uh, yesterday was the same, if not warmer. So I had to get out. And I didn't know where to go, so I just went to the grocery store. I have to tell you, though, as soon as... Uh, this is a very urban area, right? Very crowded. And so long, as soon as the nice weather comes out, so do the panhandlers. And I have not been approached by as many panhandlers in such a short period of time as I, for months, if not a, a whole year. I don't know. But I had enough of them yesterday. 
Every time I turned around, somebody was asking me for money. But there was something else I noticed yesterday that was brought out by the nice weather. Here I am at the grocery store. And before I even walk in the door, I notice a same-sex male couple walking one with his shoulder, his arm around the shoulder of his, I assume his partner, and going into, this, into the grocery store. I happened to bump into him a couple times in the grocery store, not bump into him, but we're close proximity. And they were keezing and doing this, and, and the one even turns to me and says, will you tell him to stop yelling at me? And it was like, just a fun time. And then I noticed another same-sex couple. And then I noticed another same-sex couple. The grocery store wasn't that crowded. It was 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And I started then counting. And I saw boldly walking, holding hands, doing whatever, they're shopping together, a dozen and a half same-sex male couples out buying, buying their groceries. I mean, speaking of mainstream, and nobody thinking, no, no, not a bit of backlash, nothing at all. It was just fine. Where have I been? When did we get such acceptance? It was just cool to watch. And it made me a little jealous because I'm there alone. But maybe that will change someday. These are incredible times in which we live. And finally, on April 26th, it was uh, announced that the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development has awarded the AIDS Foundation of Chicago a grant of $1,384,993 to provide housing and support services to extremely low-income people living with HIV and AIDS. The grant made through HUD's Housing Opportunities for Persons with AIDS program continues funding for three years for programs previously supported in Chicago by HUD. These grants are a vital source of support to the local programs that are on the ground working to keep families healthy, said HUD Secretary Sharon Donovan. Knowing that you have a place to call home can make all the difference to the well-being of families living with HIV AIDS, many of whom have been on the brink of homelessness. Thumbs up to that. That's another mainstream area that gay people are just a part of. Interesting. It may only be the waning days of spring, but I'm already thinking about Christmas. And why am I thinking about Christmas? Well, because of one thing. You know those bell ringers that stand outside the stores? And I didn't see that many of them this year, but <coughs> they're for the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army is in trouble again, in the news again. Apparently, the Salvation Army's all-inclusive policy does not include homosexuals. Swedish broadcasters were told that this weekend. And also, when the officer from the Salvation Army over there in Sweden found out that the reporter to whom he was speaking was gay, he, the reporter was told, well, homosexuality is a curable sin and that he would help him get cured. I'm, I, well, take that, Salvation Army. I'm boycotting your, your red kettles, and I hope you do too. Thanks again for downloading, and thank you for watching. I'm, uh, I'm modeling for another art group this evening, so I maybe better get myself bathed and primped and looking as pretty as I possibly can get. Not that it's some perp that's not the purpose of this modeling, but if you liked what you saw, please, please go to iTunes and subscribe. And then once you've done that, please rate and comment. It really helps us get our exposure up. And if you could be so kind and generous, we need the money, go to robsfeetoday.com. Right there on the home page in the right column, you'll find the PayPal button to make a donation. Now having said all that, well I guess I guess that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs>